the system is not purely controlled by like human engineering input. Exactly. Yeah. You need to figure out a way to to make the bacteria do what we want to do. Right. Okay. The idea is that we want to mass produce something called xanthomatin. Okay. It's nature's master of disguise. It's a pigment that is responsible for cephalopod, cephalopod camouflage. There you've got a photo. The, I can't see the octopus. The octopus are incredible at camouflage. Oh, there's, can, there's an octopus in that photo? Yeah, in that red circle. Here's the core challenge, okay? There's some biochemical pathway in the octopus that creates xanthomatin, okay? The, the standard approach is to take that gene or take that bunch of genes that all contribute to this, stick that into a bacteria, and then have the bacteria produce it, right? Yep. The problem is there's a metabolic burden, okay? okay? Because if you've got this new pathway that's taking up a lot of energy, it's taking up a lot of the ATP, a lot of the carbon atoms even, and it confers no survival advantage, the bacteria doesn't want to do it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. the, all of the energy budget and the carbon budget of an organism is very strict, mm -hmm. okay? It's had billions of years of evolution to right. figure out this carbon atom has to go there, this carbon atom has to go there, this amount of ATP needs to be used for this, and so on and so forth, right? It's had billions of years of evolution to figure that out. And now all of a sudden you install on this electrical grid like a giant server farm, <laughs> right. right? With no advantage. With no, right. the, the bacteria is not going to reroute all of its electricity, all of its energy to make this server farm when it, when it makes no sense, right? Right. In fact, if you have a bacterial population, you've got an evolutionary conflict because let's say a bunch of these bacteria are there there's some mutation that cuts off supply to that server farm. That bacteria is going to grow faster because, because it's not wasting all that energy. energy. We're trying to engineer something, right. but there's all these cheaters around. Because we're trying to use literal biology as the platform by which we generate this, this organic compound. Yeah. And the strategy that they're using, it came out of Nature Biotech, growth coupled biosynthesis. That's okay. what they're calling it. Okay. okay. What they're doing is actually quite a, quite a simple thing. They're creating a fitness advantage. They're creating an evolutionary advantage for those that are using the server farm. But they've created what's called an oxotroph. It's an organism that has, through some kind of mutation, lost the ability to synthesize some essential ingredient. Okay. Okay? And the only way it can get this essential ingredient is if it runs the server farm, <laughs> it runs this <laughs> biomechanical pathway that we've installed yeah. that gives it that ingredient to let it grow. That's that's incredible. So it's we, it's pretty insane. Like it, we've hi, we've hijacked our understanding of ev evolution 